So minutes away at the White House, Israeli's Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu meeting with President Obama for the first time since the United States signed on to the nuclear deal with Iran. The talks are expected to include U.S. military aid to Israel, and it is likely that they will focus on a recent wave of Palestinian violence. Here you see this unbelievable video. This woman's talking to this, and she go, grab, pulls a knife out and starts going after this guy. And this is the kind of scene we have seen many, many times in recent weeks there. That was at a, uh, the entrance to a Jewish settlement on the West Bank. The guard was slightly wounded and shot at the woman and wounded her. Bad, bad situation that's unfolding there. So we are joined this morning to talk about this by former Governor John Sununu, who served as White House Chief of Staff to President George H.W. Bush. Good to see you, Governor. Good morning. Morning. How are you, Martha? I'm doing well. Thank you. Um, you know, obviously, Benjamin Netanyahu has been to Washington twice in the past year, and there was no meeting during those visits uh, with President Obama. Today, they will slip down for the first time. What do you expect? Well, I think the president and the prime minister are going to try and clarify the relationship uh, for the last that that will exist for the last 14 months of the Obama administration. The, the, surprisingly enough, there is one issue they might find agreement on, and that's the uh, military aid package between the United States and Israel. But on everything else, there's there's just going to be no agreement. Uh, the, obviously, they'll talk about. The, the, their own disagreements on the Iran uh, nuclear deal. They'll talk about their disagreements on the two-state solution, and they'll talk about uh, their disagreements on settlements. Mm -hmm. this, is, this is a small piece of a much more complex set of problems the president has in a, a region that overall is in chaos. Mm -hmm. And frankly, my personal feeling is it's in chaos because the, of the ineptitude of this administration. Well, you know, there is um, an irony, I suppose, uh, um, in that Israel needs more military support, and they might argue that it's precisely because they've been put in more danger by this situation um, with Iran. And they've also, as we just showed, uh, had an uptick in violence uh, with Palestinians in their own um, regions as well. So, I mean, it, they're in, in a very, very tough situation. It is a tough situation. Eleven Israelis have been killed. I think about 75 Palestinians have been killed in this uh, period of, of renewed violence. And I'm sure the president will try and uh, discuss some efforts to try and stabilize uh, what's going on there. But, but to really get a stabilization, I think, requires the prime minister and the Palestinians to start talking about uh, at least something that will create a better tone out there. Yeah, I mean, every presidency in my lifetime has been at least in part characterized by an effort at reaching some sort of peace negotiation between the Israelis and the Palestinians. And yeah. by everything that I'm looking at this morning, that, you know, there's no, in no one's imagination, is that possible in this presidency? No, it isn't. Uh, you know, in, in the administration I served, George Herbert Walker Bush, at least we got them to come to Madrid and begin the process. But, but virtually since then, except for what, what Bill Clinton was able to put together and a little bit of what Jimmy, uh, of, of what uh, uh, we have been able to see on, around the fringes, around the edges, uh, there really hasn't been much progress. Yeah. Um, you know, in terms of the personal relationship, uh, hasn't gone well um, by anybody's estimation. Is, is, is that important at this point? Or do you think that they can sort of make an effort to, to patch things up? And if they do, what's possible? Well, again, going back to the administration I served in, I actually saw how important personal relationships were when George Herbert Walker Bush was able to deal with the Gorbachevs and the Thatchers and the Mitterrands and the Coles around the world. I, I really do think that the personal relationship between the President of the United States and world leaders is an, is an essential ingredient uh, in getting anything significant accomplished in terms of foreign policy. We will see. Governor Sununu, thank you.